Hi, today I want to show you something that I recently found out about and that has really, really improved my workflow in Capture. If you don't know what Capture is, it's a software that I use to design and visualize all of my projects. And I just really love how the software works. Hi, I'm Cedric. I'm a 16 year old show designer from Belgium. I mainly do set and lighting design. And on this channel, I do tutorials, gig logs, live streams, and much more. Just what I like to do and hopefully what you like to see as well. Now, the thing that I've been talking about is a capture template file. Now, what is a template file? It's a regular capture file, but it has all of my view settings, my layers, my plot layouts and everything I need to start a new project, basically all sort in it. And it's just a very, very handy thing to have, in my opinion. And in this video, I'm going to show you around in my template file and explain why I think it's such a beneficial thing and everyone should have it. OK, so here we are in capture. Uh, with my template file opened. So what I used to do before is just create a new project every time, create all of my layers, change all the view settings, create the plots. My layers were never the same, so I tend to import a lot of things uh, from one project into another and then into the next project and just combine the things from previous projects or drafts that I made. And it used to be very annoying because in one project I made a layer called spots for example and in the other project i made a layer called spots too and i gave them both the color yellow the thing is if i imported a spot from one project into another project i would have two spot layers with slightly different colors and if i'd want to select all of my spots then it would only select the half or some random fixtures that were on the one layer and then when i selected the other spot layer it would select other spots but not all of them and plus it's also a little ocd thing of mine but it's just very nice to have like the same layer set in every project because yeah it's saves time it's easy to get used to and like it's very amazing i think to have the same way of designing every time and the same settings and everything um, without having the need to spend literally five minutes or something um, setting everything up so yeah that are in my opinion the benefits of a template file uh, now I'm going to guide you through uh, my template file um, so you can get some inspiration and see how it all works. Now I mainly design live dance events, so parties and festivals, um, so this is optimized for that. But yeah, I'll stop talking about all that stuff now and I'll just show you around my file. So the first thing I would change every time is the header, um, so the project data that will come back in the header of the plots, then the view settings. I always have my left side of the program, so alpha and the gamma view, to really design, so mostly on wireframe mode and then sometimes on custom mode or plot view. And then my beta view, so the right part of the software, and I use this view as a visualizer. So for the alpha and the gamma view, I don't change anything because it's just, I like how it is default. Um, the beta view though, I change one thing. Um, I really don't like Bloom, I don't think it looks better, especially with lasers, it like ruins the laser visualization in my opinion, so I set it to 3, default it's on 10. Uh, that's the only thing I changed really, except for of course setting the beta view to live. Then the layers, I think that's the most time saving and the main part why I think a template file is very handy. I'm just going to go through every layer. So I have one for my 3D models, beams, which are light green for me, blinders, floodlights, I have a layer for lasers. Now I like to separate the layer from the rest of the rigging and I just find it a very nice thing to like have the dressing in a brighter red or in a brighter color so I can easily separate them from each other. Then LED wall, uh, I have a pre-configured LED tile. So this is the generic LED tile from uh, the capture library, but it's configured so it's uh, 64 by 64 pixels and it's half of a meter by half of a meter because that's the size of most LED tiles that I get to use for my designs. Then I have a layer for people, so actors, dancers, the DJ, the crowd, rigging, as I said, for the dressing, separated from the layer. Then sound, which is just a separate layer for the speakers, also three 3D models technically but I like to separate the sound from the rest of the 3D models and then spots for the spot moving ads, um, stage decks and then the standard layer which captures creates every time then for strobes I have a different layer for the venue um, so it's dark I don't know if you can see it but it's this uh, this is a standard 15 by 15 meter box that I then change to whatever the size of the venue is 
and then a different layer for the washes. So that's my layer set that I use. So yeah, it's just very nice to have all the different items in different colors, especially with the plots. The plots look way better and yeah, the designs just become also for me while designing it's way more visually attractive and more importantly just way more clear to see where everything is. I just have a material for my stage decks and for a starting point for my LED wall. This always gets mapped to a Resolume input or whatever. And then all the other materials with the weird names that you see are just the materials of the 3D model of the speaker that I have in my template file. Uh, then reports, very basic, just a fixer list with everything so I can just change the project name and then I have the list there. Uh, plot style, I just have one style but I tend to create other ones but they are specific for specific types of projects so I don't include them in my template file. And then last but not least my plots themselves. So I have a single view plot and a split view plot. Uh, so the header right here, um, the fixer list and then I can change this to whatever I want, top view, front view. And then if I need a second single view, I just duplicate this plot. Then split view is the exact same plot, but just with two views. I use this for ground packages or to show off like certain elements of a design. And then again, if I need other things, we just duplicate them. Also, as you can see, I use the capture logo now, but that's going to be my own logo. But yeah, that's really my template file. But I just really wanted to share this because it really improved my workflow. I didn't know about it until like two months ago. So yeah, that's it for today's video. I really hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. Let me know if you already had a template file or what you're going to incorporate in your template file, if you're going to create one at all. I'd really love to hear your feedback about this. Also, if you really enjoyed the video, maybe you could consider leaving a like and subscribing. It really helps us a lot and it's just very nice to see your support on this. The soft palette video, like, Thank you, really. We gained more than 100 subscribers in like 4 days and the video already has more than a thousand views and it also happened in that 4 day period so I'm very grateful for that. It's very motivating to see stuff like that so really thank you. There's a lot of Chamsys content coming up about execute windows and exciting things. So yeah, expect a lot of fun stuff. And yeah, thank you for watching and then I hope to see you soon on this channel. Bye!